Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warcraft Shadowlands Pre-Patch Leveling. We are headed into Northrend today with our Dwarf Shaman. We've learned our riding skill. We haven't picked up any professions. But I don't know that I'm going to focus at all on professions during this. That could change though. Let's find our actual way out of this area and down to the docks, shall we? I'm a little bit interested in how they reworked some well of the met. professions. So maybe I'll pick some professions up. I don't think that it will, will be a focus of the playthrough, but it might be something that I check out in my own time, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Let's see. Let's just pick up... We'll do a blacksmithing... Well, no. Let's do leatherworking and skinning. Light bless you. I'll pick these up. And then we'll head over to the docks. Can I help you? Okay, that's not the dock master that we're looking See for. See you around. Oh, we're literally just waiting for a boat. I'm so used to having to talk to an NPC just to quick travel somewhere that I forgot we're actually just waiting for a boat. A brisk wind greets you as you approach the frigid northern shore. It smells of salt, death, and adventure. Welcome to Northrend. Salt, death, and adventure. Okay then. And it's time to go down a trip along memory lane. I think I rolled most alts that I've ever had were probably rolled during the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. And through all of that, I can't say that I ever once uh, stopped and read all of the quests. So although I've seen this content before, so much of it is probably going to be new to me as we're well met. actually reading all the quests. Let's take a look at what the Flight Master has for us. Allies in Dalaran. Welcome to Northrend. I have been asked to arrange travel for you to Dalaran so that you can meet with our allies there. Ride the Griffin to Dalaran and once you land, make your way to the inn. Find Izarami, Fairwind, and speak with her immediately. She can help you bind your hearthstone to the city so that you can use the Silver Enclave's portal to travel back to Stormwind quickly. That seems really important. We're going to do that. Uh, pretty soon here, maybe before we head out too far, though I wonder if there is an inn here that we could bind to. Maybe not. And then we have Magister Dathomir. How may I help? Hello, you may or may not be aware that we Kirin Tor moved our city here to Northrend. No longer does Dalaran sit under its protective dome on the shores of the Lordmere Lake. Now the city magically floats above the Crystal Song Forest. We believe you to be ready for your journey to the city. Speak with me again and I will cast a spell of teleportation to transport you there. When you arrive, seek out Archmage Celindra and give her my signet as proof that we spoke. So we have two quests that immediately all they do is take us into Dalaran. Let's see if we can find a quest that involves actually leaving the little town here and taking some action. Need help? We'll just cut in this line of recruits. You would think with all the added character customizations, they would have applied some of those to the NPCs here in Northrend. I'm not sure that they did. I know they applied them to places like the major capital cities, but it, with all the duplicates we're seeing here, it, it doesn't seem like it. If I were a clone, I would probably want to enlist in the army as well. Enlistment day. You've come to enlist, right? Normally, you'd have to stand in line like any other recruit. 
Normally, you'd be out of luck because the recruitment ledger's gone missing and I can't process anyone until the new book gets here. Fortunately for you, I've heard about you and what you did in Outland. To be honest, you're a cut above these poor saps. Lines aren't for you. Go to the barracks and speak to General Arlos. He'll be more than happy to meet with someone of your caliber. And see, here's where the, the thread kind of falls apart. And I guess it's fine because a, a player who's brand new to the game would not be starting in Northrend. They'd have to go into the battle for Azeroth content first. But let's say they did the battle for Azeroth content and then they started content. Let's say they wanted to do an alt and they wanted Light to do a time walking game. campaign. It talks about our character like we've experienced all of the expansions. Go with honor, friend. When we haven't necessarily done that. This character, for instance, is a brand new character, has never experienced the Burning Crusade. And so that's where, you know, that could be a little bit immersion breaking probably for someone who's relatively new to the game. Obviously this would have to be at least their second character to be here, but still. I wonder if they'll ever go back and rework some of those quests in order to make it more streamlined. I never played Alliance at all. Uh, during Wrath of the Lich King. I was never a big Alliance player. We played on Horde, and that was where, that's where my guild was. And so all of these structures and the, the Alliance towns and buildings out here are going to be completely new to me. Greetings. We've been expecting your arrival. Welcome to Northrend. It's good to have you among us. We've all heard of your past deeds. As you know, King Rin is moving great armies into Northrend to meet those of Arthas, but armies are nothing without true heroes to inspire and lead them. I want you to be that hero for my men, fight alongside them, against the scourge that lays siege to our stronghold. Report to Sergeant Hammerchill outside the inner hold. Vigilance Keep, or Valiance Keep even, cannot fall. The future of our campaign depends on it. Life bless you. And nobody else in here wants anything to do with us. Some pretty strange music that's going on in here. I was hoping we could read some of those books, but apparently not. Talk to me. Well, well, well. It's good to see Arlos bring out the big guns. Don't get me wrong, our lads are doing the best they can, but someone of your renown fighting alongside them could really turn the tides for us. I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out against these undead Nerubians. What do you say you get out there and kill me some creepers? Show these boys how it's done. That's good, because we could really use another one-handed mace. Off with you. I've gone ahead and equipped this level 1, but it had to go in our main hand, which means the decent weapon we had is now in our offhand, and that's probably really suboptimal. But uh, we're enhancement, so we're going to dual wield, and we'll see how it goes. How are you? You there, please, I need your help. This soldier will succumb to the Crypt Fiend's venom unless we act immediately. I've managed to slow down the poison, but without a suitable supply of antidote, I cannot counteract it. I was promised a new shipment of antivenom in Stormbreaker's most recent trip from the south. Go inside its hold and search for a chest of first aid supplies. Hurry, shaman. We cannot afford to lose any more men than necessary. See you later. All right, well, let's start taking on some of these crypt crawlers since they are right here. We could consider being in melee range since uh, we are enhancement. Let's check some of the sound settings. Uh, that can probably be tuned down a little bit. 
There we go. That sounds a little bit more balanced. I want to have the music and the ambience up enough to be heard really well. I just don't want it to be overpowering or too loud. I don't have a target. It seems at this point that we're still best just opening up from a distance with Lightning Bolt, but then we're not really able to hit these guys with any melee attacks. It probably won't matter until we have a couple more abilities that are melee based. But I feel like we're in a very awkward stage right now between just a generic shaman and becoming an enhancement shaman. probably want to get Wind Fury weapon going. I mean, if we plan to melee at all, we want to do that. Mounting up is not a bad idea. On a fight. Death from above. We're doing a good job of holding the front lines against the bugs. Some of the these cheeky fiends, however, can fly over the aforementioned front lines and are really beating down our inner defenses. I've requisitioned reinforced fishing nets from our civilian ships. If you've got a good enough throwing arm, They'll help you knock the enemy out of the sky. Thin their numbers so that our defenses can hold the keep. Off with it. And we need to get to the Hawthorne's anti-venom. What is this prompting us to do exactly? So there's a shipment somewhere that we need to pick up. Uh, but apparently we have to go inside the ship. There we go. And then I guess we have to pick up this quest from a cultist shrine. Seems like a weird place to have a cultist shrine in the m middle of the underbelly of a ship, but... That's fine, it's very conspicuous. This altar bears all the markings of the Cult of the Damned. It appears fanatics from the mainland have made it into Northrend. It might be prudent to notify the captain of the ship. Perhaps he is to be found above deck. I mean, I would be worried about confronting the captain, because if it's sitting here in the middle of the ship like this, what are the odds that he doesn't already know about it and maybe is even in, like, complicit in what's going on? I, um, maybe I would take this to a different authority. But let's confront the captain and see what he has to say. Cultist, below deck. I ought to have my whole crew flogged. Listen, why don't we have Admiral Kettlebury take care of this situation? You have a great day now. Need help? All right. We must notify General Arlos at once. I've known the captain for a long time, and believe me, he is one of the more careful ones. Who knows how many cultists have been smuggled into our settlements in Northrend and other ships. This could be disastrous. Be careful. What can I do for you? 
Thank you for your concern. We were made aware of the situation not too long ago. Counselor Talbot assures me that this was an isolated incident and not a cause for military concern. Our civilian authorities will make sure everyone involved is properly prosecuted. Light bless you. Well, that was uh, maybe too easy to take care of. I don't know. I expected we would have to hunt down some cultist members, question some people, or something of that nature. But I guess they, uh, well, they don't seem too interested in it. Greetings. A diplomatic mission. I see that you are very eager to help. You didn't come all the way to Northridge just to stay holed up in a city. I've just, I've just the task for you. Something that'll take you far, far away from here. We've long sought to gain the favor of the Tuscar native to Northrend. Recently, a young Tuscar came to us seeking help, something we couldn't offer at the time. Now that you're around, maybe you can lend him a hand. Look for Carrick near the Riplash Strand southwest of here and see what you can do to help. For the Alliance. It's funny that they reference us wanting to get far, far away from here because, yeah, I do feel like already we've been running back and forth just in the town a little bit too much. Blessings upon you. Enemies of the Light. Not so fast there. I don't know about you, Shaman, but I was hardly convinced by the General's words. They rung unsure, as if they were not his own. Something is amiss here. All of our efforts to collaborate have been blocked and delayed. It is time we took a more independent approach. If we're to learn more about the cultists inside the keep, perhaps we should investigate those outside. Intelligence reports a small group of them aiding the scourge north of here. See if they carry any clues. See, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, this guy here, Harbinger Varen, uh, he's thinking straight because, yeah, I thought it was a little weird that they were all just kind of blowing us off about the whole cultist thing. Didn't seem quite right, so I'm glad that at least the Draenei there agrees with us. Oh, we can be mounted up on all of these? Okay, perfect. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Not that part there, though. That, that part will dismount us. Makes sense. That's one way to get out. We need to give the antidote to this guy. Hey there. Anti-venom, excuse me. Thank you. This man's recovery will be slow, but we won't lose him. What do you say? You found cultist inside Stormbreaker? You'd best notify someone. And bring some evidence. Have a good one. That was a little weird that he would reference the quest that we already picked up inside the ship, but after we've already done all that? Hmm. Alright, let's see. Over here we have to, uh... Destroy the Scourge Flame Spitters, which were already destroyed. Oh, there's one. I guess this is where we use the net. And we have quite a throwing arm, it seems. Oh, it has quite a cooldown as well. I need to get closer. Very eager to, and I, I probably won't be skinning all these guys. I do want to play around with the professions because they've made a bunch of changes and I, and I only vaguely understand the changes that they've made. So I'm going to investigate this, but I'll do it on my own time and then I'll, I'll find an episode where I can talk about it. But I don't think I'm going to spend time through the playthrough working on really outdated ah, crafting that we're probably not going to use. We're probably just going to be safe to just pick up whatever quests that we can and level just just fine that way without worrying about crafting ourselves gear or anything like that. So uh, we'll save actual crafting for when we are in the Shadowlands proper at level 50 onward. We can't get him? Oh there, it just took a minute for him to come down.
a target. What is this that we've picked up? It's an upgrade, but um, it's probably not going to look as cool as what we have. Well, then again, that doesn't look bad. I forget that the Wrath of Lich King gear actually looked pretty decent. Let's go ahead and turn this one in. I don't have a target. We'll beat them if they come by land, and we'll beat them if they come by air. If these mo motherless undead come by sea, we're going to give them the beating of their lives. Plug the sinkholes. The Scourge are showing no sign of letting up. It's those blasted sinkholes. They connect to tunnels all over the way to Ice Crown, for all we know. Giant undead worms burrow under the ground to create them. If there's something years of mining has taught me, it's that without support beams, tunnels will cave in easily after an explosion. Take these explosives and place them at the entrance to the sinkholes up on the ridge beyond the beach to the west. Come back after you've collapsed them. Hey, good. Alright, so we'll take out some of the travel paths that are created by giant underground worms. Who knew? Will we meet any giant underground worms? I don't think so. But I could be wrong. Oh, we will! <laughs> oh, it just dies, though. Oh, we don't even get to fight it. And I don't even think we got credit for that. There we go. Cultist communique. Alright, so let's find some cultists. Like these fellows, right over here. Cultist necrolite. I said, I said fellas, but they're probably all women, aren't they? Not that women can't be fellas if they really want to be. Just the one. We don't want to stop these from their summoning circle. We're not concerned about that at all. Okay. What about this guy? Blood Spore Harvester. I'm out of range. Whoops. Not the button we wanted. And to the southern sink sinkhole. We're going to ignore these guys. Good luck trying to dismount us. And we'll get out of here before it blows up. I do like seeing the giant worm erupt from it. I'm glad that there was actually a giant worm. We'll go back to town and turn these in in case we get any more follow-ups that lead out this way before we head down for a diplomatic mission. And I'm not certain, but I haven't seen an inn here yet. We should maybe look for that. Right now, our hearthstone is set back in Stormwind. We could we can go to Dalaran. We could take one of the quests we have for Dalaran and set it there. I, I just I don't want to do that quite yet. 
talk to me. Excellent work. Without you, Valiant's keep might have not held against the attackers. Thanks to your help, we'll live to fight another day. My lads should be able to take it from here. Valiant's keep is built to take a beating far worse than this. I worry about our farmlands and mine in Farshire, however. We sent a full detachment to protect our mining operations right before the invasion. They should be able to defend the civilians. Gerald's Green, Gerald Green is in charge of the villagers there. There's a passage out of the northern wall of Valiant's Keep. It'll take you straight to him. See what you can do to help. Watch your back. Do we have to take that exit? Can we just go the long way if we want? Uh, now Mark Haynes here has a quest for us. How are you? There's a girl in the inn that's asking about you. Her name's Larissa. I don't think she knows you, but she said she needed your help. She sounded really desperate. See you later. So there is an inn. That's good news. We'll definitely bind there. We seem to be able to stay mounted through most of this building, which is unusual. Good fortune. Be discreet. We cannot look at this evidence in front of prying eyes. We just got a helm. Let's take a trinket. Since currently I think we're rocking no trinkets. I'm afraid this, ma this is a matter I must delegate to one of my operatives. Someone who can work in secret. Keep the evidence with you and take it to Vindicator Yala inside the inn. Tell her I sent you and speak of this matter to no one else. We do not know who might be working for the cult. Be kind to those less. I mean, to be fair, we don't know if Harbinger Verin here is working for the cult. But he has a good point. I don't think there's anything that connects these two parts of the town if the ship is not here. That's weird city planning, but we'll let it go. We'd have to swim across or go outside and go all the way around. Alright, there's a quest here to pick up. Hi, how are ya? Nick of Time. I told them all that I remember. Why don't they believe me? I was gathering herbs by the rift. They came from nowhere. Dark wizards with magical beasts. I was surrounded. A huge magical cube appeared above me. It opened up and pulled me inside. I swear it's true. Just as it began to close around me, my rescuers swooped in on the backs of drakes. It was amazing. My captors scattered and I was able to escape. I never thanked them for saving me. Please, shaman, see if you, if you see them, pass on my gratitude. Okay, a little bit random. Uh, innkeeper. Good day to you. Make See this our home, please. And then where are we looking here? In a back room, no doubt. Ah, uh, that goes nowhere. Okay. So you're over there. Perfect. You need something? Thank you for coming to see me. I didn't know who else to contact. I recently received word from William Allerton, a family friend, that my brother enlisted here in Valiant's Keep on the same day he did. Thing is, my brother has been dead for years. I sold everything I owned to come looking for Thessarion, only to be stonewalled by the local bureaucracy. I've even been threatening, I've even been threatened with arrest if I keep snooping around. I need someone in the good graces of the higher-ups. Someone like you. If you can help me, I heard that William's stationed at the Farshire Mine. Look for William Ellerton. Safe travels. Kronakai Christor. Speak quickly, Shaman. What information do you have on the cult? 
I've made it my business to learn as much as possible about the vile death cult, including their secret language. Varen was right. The cultists mentioned disguised operatives in various locations in Valiant's Keep. The lower docks, the jail inside the inner hold, and the inn's kitchen. Take this oculus. Use it at those three locations. Anyone who has recently used the cult's necromancy will be enshrouded by a dark aura. Take care of the cultist before something nefarious happens. So, go kill these people without asking them any questions. Got it. We are a WoW character. We'll basically do whatever we're told uh, without question. The kitchens. Okay, so back here. Back here where this man is now uh, just ominously chopping meat. Light be with you. I was going to say, can we buy anything off of him first? I have reason to believe you're involved in cultist activity. Be careful. Um, Need help? Well. Go with honor, friend. I suppose this is it then. I won't go down quietly. Well, we didn't suppose you would. So that's our interrupt. I'll move that over here. No? Oh, down here. You need something? Safe travels. You don't know who you're messing with, Shaman. Death beckons. Alright, let's grab this quest here. Good day to you. Oh, good. We need your help up north at Fizzlecrank Airstrip, like yesterday. The Magnetar and the Scourge. And the pumping station. It's madness, I tell you, madness. You've got to head up there and talk to old man Full Throttle ASAP. Very good. We'll do that on top of the other million things we have to do. I'm assuming we're going to use this upstairs in the main command room and see who we reveal up there. Oh, it's in the jail. Okay. Well, that's not as exciting as it to being one of these commanders, but okay. Uh, to the jail, wherever that happens to be. Mm. Well, all right then. Is it just out in this area? Or, okay, down here looks good. There we go. Hmm, I wonder who it will be. Let's see. Oh, it's actually the guard. Guard Mitchells. He's been a very bad boy. See you around. Finally, the charade is over. Arthas, give me strength. What can I do for you? I feel like we can definitely make this situation a little bit better. There we go. That'll help us deal some additional damage. Everything else should be okay.
they really are getting the most out of the out of this town early on with the quest running back and forth through here, aren't they? The Naru have not forgotten. You've done well. However, I can't shake the feeling that this is not the last we've seen of these death cultists. Darkness has a way of hiding, even in plain sight. Do not lose faith. Well, we've replaced most of our exiles' reach gear pretty much immediately. Alright, where do we go from here? Obviously, we are just going to head right out. We're going to do Farsh Farshire, then we're going to look for Tharisian, or Thessarian. And they said there was an entrance that would take us uh, right out. I think I see it. There we go. So let's mount up and let's head that way.